What's up, YouTube and Keto Dieters Worldwide? This is Mike with Price Plow, and it's time for our third branched chain amino acid supplement ketone test, this time valine. Welcome to Price Plow. So in the past, we saw that leucine was very ketogenic for me and uh, raised my blood ketone levels considerably at 0.5 and 0.2 on the other days. And But the isoleucine, which is uh, theoretically both ketogenic and glucogenic, actually did just that. One day my ketones went up, one day they went down a little bit. So what we're trying to do here is build the best BCA ratio, for me at least, using uh, the data that I have. And the question is, what's gonna happen with valine? Because this is the glucogenic amino acid of the three branch chains. And so we need to see if this needs to be a little dose a little bit lower and have leucine a little bit higher. But given how well leucine worked for me, I'm thinking that a four to one to one or maybe even a two to one to one BCA ratio is actually okay for keto dieters, but that's what we're here to find out. So the first thing we gotta do is first off, obviously we have the Nutribio 100% pure l -Valine. This is a fresh tub that has not been opened yet. And so we'll get that going, but you could check out their lot number right here. And so checkmysubs.com has their third-party lab test, but unfortunately this one was made before they started putting them, uh, the third-party lab test on everything. But I know that they uh, they test like crazy here, so I trust this is 100% L-Valine. They test all incoming and outgoing products. So anyway, what we gotta do first is see how my blood sugar levels and ketone levels are to start this experiment off. And we'll do two different days. This is day one, obviously. And uh, I am 15 and a half hours fasted. So let's have at it. Blood glucose. Initial, 91. I'm creeping up. Time to get my veggies in order. Under 100 is good, but I, I at least want the 80s. Initial ketones, I want at least 0.5 in order to start. 0.7. I've been set there for a few days. Uh, there's a couple things I'm going to be tweaking in this diet because I was doing a little bit better. Anyway, that's good enough to start this experiment. So the next thing we need to do, bust open this bad guy, see how it smells. We're having some fun tasting these raw amino acids. Isoleucine was not fun. Lucy actually, I didn't mind the aftertaste on that one. Yeah, this the, this the taste is always very bland. I think some of the powder got my nose and it didn't even like it. So this might not be a fun one. Oh, it's like bad cheese almost. So uh, and smell alone, Bailey might have to be the, the one that we dose the least anyway. All right, let's, let me get five grams going here. Five gram spoon, and I am not liking the smell of this, folks. All right, kamikaze time. Make sure my water is open. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Mm. Oh man, I gotta do this tomorrow too. So that one. After taste isn't bad. What the? Okay, so the I taste the, the you get the bland, you get the bad cheese kind of action, but then this one has a hint. Not a hint. This one's got bitterness on it as well. I don't recommend doing that, but I'm gonna have to do it again tomorrow. Let's see in 45 minutes if I am uh, below 0 0.7, which is kind of what we predict. But hopefully not too much because I don't want to for me to fall out of ketosis now, do we? We are back. Let's get the blood glucose started first. 82, I dropped considerably there. Uh, that could be a continuation of my fast, or maybe valine did something and it's not as glucogenic as we would hope, and that's uh, it's a good sign. So far, I'm doing well with the BCAs. But the real question is, where are these blood ketones gonna end up? Ooh, we went down a little bit. All right, not too much though, and not so much that um, I'm overly worried, but we're gonna, of course, have to do this again tomorrow. Uh, I went down 0.1 the uh, the first time I did isoleucine, but then the next day I went up. So uh, as long as, if we can stay at going down 0.1, then overall, I really believe that a two to one to one BCA ratio, given that they, uh, there's no other ingredients in those BCA products that might, might screw things up, I'm thinking that we're gonna be okay with even a two to one to one ratio. Although um, I'm looking, I'm already looking more for the four to one to one ratio because leucine seems to be that good for me. And so uh, good news so far, we'll be back tomorrow with even more. Bailey day two and look, I got a haircut finally. I'm like two months overdue. Here we go. Um, I got a cat down here, so get ready for him. 
I'm feeling extra fasty today. 85, a little bit better than yesterday, so that's what I was hoping. And now ketones, and here's the ketones. 0 0.9, I had a feeling, feeling, uh, I don't know, sometimes you just, I'm starting to feel it a little more. And uh, before we get going, because I know you're all waiting to see me do another shot of this baleen. Today's shirt is the WrestleMania shirt, 22 from 2006 in Chicago, Illinois. Here's the contest. The first person who can find, uh, in the comments, who can find another YouTube video where I was wearing this shirt on our channel, uh, you get a free t-shirt from Pricepile. You gotta be in the US because it's shipped by Amazon. But uh, we got over 500 videos now, so have fun finding that. But there is a video out there from a while ago where I'm wearing this shirt. So go ahead, find that, post the link, and the first person to do so wins a free shirt. I'm gonna make a spoonful of valine now. Five grams, Nutribio valine. Made a bit of a mess, no big deal. All right, here we go. What's what's the strategy gonna be? Because yesterday, mm -mm. powder wasn't so bad until I mixed the water in, but I don't think I can get it down without the water. And it like congealed into some sort of like blobs. It whatever. I just gotta do it. Mm -mm. Oh, after, see, it's bad going down. And then there's, there's no moment. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. So it's, it's like bad going down, but at least you get the decent aftertaste. So, oh, man. Honestly, if someone made a BCA product that was just like the two, the two branch chains, leucine, isoleucine, and uh, you get rid of the valine, I bet you it would taste better and you wouldn't need as much sweetener and you wouldn't need as much nonsense. I wouldn't be against that product at this point. <laughs> All right, so let's see how much this drops me, if if anything at all, and then we're going to uh, we're going to sum up all the three BCAs, and 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 then it looks like uh, we'll have to figure out what a two to one to one ratio does. So I'll be back in forty four minutes. Coming back at you. What happened? And who found the video with the T-shirt, the WrestleMania T-shirt? It's been forty five minutes, so you should have found it by now. Ninety three blood sugar spike. What was that, eight points? Not a huge deal, but rather not have if I don't need to. Or I'd rather have Lucy and try to pull it down if possible. But this is the challenge we're all looking at right here. That's showing up, there we go. But here's what we're looking for. Oh, okay, so we went up a ketone. My fast is continuing, things are fine. Uh, okay, so in general, it looks like we have a mixed bag for isoleucine and valine. At least for me, uh, valine went down a little bit more than when we went up here, and a lot of that could be the continuation of my fast. So overall, valine, I'm still going to say, is glucogenic uh, or anti-ketogenic in a way, but at the same time, it's not so bad that having a 2 to 1 to 1 or 4 to 1 to 1 ratio of, of BCAs is bad. So right now, as it stands, branched-chain amino acids in nearly any ratio, I believe, is going to be like keto approved, price pile, price pile approved is usually the word I say when we're doing reviews. Uh, they're going to be price pile keto approved. The the next thing we have to do though is we're going to test a two to one to one and then make a custom four to one to one ratio and see if uh, anything changes. But right now I'm just going to put it on the table that branch chain amino acids uh, are good. We want more leucine than anything, but go for it. Now here's the deal though. A lot of these BCA supplements, they have extra flavoring and they have uh, the colors and the sweeteners. Uh, now the artificial sweeteners shouldn't spike blood sugar, but this is something no one wants to talk about. And we'll get into this with the BCA video. A lot of people don't want to talk about the fact that sometimes there's maltodextrin spiked into some of these flavor systems. And so if you see a crazy blood sugar spike, then stay away from it. And that's why we stick with trusted brands like Nutribio, because I know that their natural flavored BCAs are not going to be messing us up too much. And it's got exactly what they say is in there. Like they get crazy on the label disclosure. Um, also, a lot of these branched chain amino acid supplements, they have citrulline malate in there, citrulline or citrulline malate, which 
is got its own benefits, but at the same time, citrulline looks like it's glucogenic, so you know that's what we're going to be testing next. And then finally, a lot of these amino acid supplements have a lot of cheap glutamine added. And glutamine, another glucogenic amino acid, another video we need to record. So finally, uh, the thing is, the, the, the goal of this video is to see how bad is valine, and the truth to me is, eh, not that bad. I'm not too worried so much that I'm going to stop taking branched amino acids. Am I ever going to drink valine solo again, though? No. I'm going to have to give away this tub or something because uh, <laughs> someone's going to want to mess with it. But I'm never going to use this ever again. I will be using the leucine and adding it to branch chain products that do have some valine in it. So anyway, subscribe to the channel because clearly we got to do more. We got BCAs in two to one one ratio. We got to do the four to one to one ratio. We got to do the citrulline, citrulline malate, and we got to do gl uh, glutamine. And then we're going to be pretty good with a lot of these uh, intro workout amino acids. Then we're going to get into some other stuff. So subscribe to the channel. I'm coming at you. You can go to pricelot.com slash valine maybe if you ever want to buy this stuff, but don't. <laughs> I'll see you later. Welcome to Price File.